like to spend some time showing you the different techniques for applying the e-net on different hair types. First, let's set up a patient with very short hair. Align the e-net according to the major 1020 system landmarks, the nasian, the preauricular points, and the inion. Position the e-net on the patient's head. Align the nasian pull tab with the patient's nasian. Secure it with medical tape. Align the top of the earpiece tabs with the preauricular points. Comfortably tighten the chin strap. Locate and align the inion. Tighten the neck strap. Check the positioning of the sockets and adjust if necessary. Now we are ready to apply the biosensors. Part the hair away from the scalp. Using a six inch cotton swab makes this easy. Slightly tilt the biosensor socket. Divide the hair underneath the center of the socket. Prep the scalp area underneath the socket in the usual manner. Don't lift it too high or the hair will fall back under it. Sweep the hair away if this happens. Insert a biosensor into the socket. Tilt the socket for leverage. Be sure the biosensor is straight and push it in. Apply the rest of the biosensors in the same way. Part the hair away from the middle of the socket. Prep the scalp. Sweep the hair away as you remove the swab. Insert the biosensor. Press lightly on the socket to assure skin contact. When you've finished recording, the e-net is easy to remove. Take off auxiliary leads. Release the chin strap. Take the tape off the nasian. Lift away the earpieces. Slip the e-net off and disconnect it from the patient module. There is virtually no patient cleanup.